Hello everyone, it's Pastor Kyle coming to you today from the pastor's office. And I have to be very careful to say pastor because even I'm still in the habit of saying vicar. This is like uh, take 10. Uh, and most of the other takes I said vicar instead of pastor. I'm very glad to be here and especially to look at Psalm 111 verses 4 and 5 with you. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. I would say that yesterday's service definitely was a service I'll always remember. And more than that, uh, if, if it weren't for the fact that, that it was so important that I would remember it, well, we know that there's evidence, there's video evidence on YouTube that you can watch now, even if you miss the service. You can see that, that, yes, it happened. It did. And not only that, but I have some physical reminders, too. Uh, this big stack of cards that, that really is... is uh, you know, touched me that, that uh, so many people from around the country have uh, been sending cards uh, congratulating me. I, I really appreciate every note, every uh, message, every email, every text. So I'm really thankful for all of you. Uh, and with that said, I think there's a tie in here to what the psalmist is describing that God causes, that he caused his wondrous works to be remembered. Uh, we remember God's gracious action. And it's actually a characteristic of our worship every Sunday. And not just that, it's characteristic of how God's people have worshipped God from the beginning. Uh, at least of their time as the people of Israel, after Moses led them from uh, slavery in Egypt. Of course, it was God leading Moses and, and leading the people of Israel through that. And some of what God actually uh, prescribes in, in uh, the Levitical laws are the celebrations, the remembrances of God's action, especially those, uh, the Remembrance of the Passover, remembering how God swept in and rescued his people from Egypt. It's part of who they are. And for us, not, you know, this remembrance isn't just like remembering someone that we once knew. It's an ongoing remembrance of what God continues to do. And it's a physical reminder, just as physical as any of these uh, cards here in this stack. For us, that physical reminder is the sacrament of communion, the body and blood of Christ in, with, and under the bread and wine. And so that's kind of where verse 5 comes in. He provides food for those who fear him. And this isn't fear as in being afraid. It's fear as in honoring and revering him. He remembers his covenant forever, his promise forever, his promise that all who believe in Jesus Christ will be saved, his promise that when he looks upon us, he, he doesn't see our sinfulness. He forgets our sinfulness and remembers the righteousness of Christ that is our righteousness. And the meal of his body and blood, the sacrament, communion, Eucharist, uh, the Lord's Supper, whatever you call it, is us remembering his wondrous and continued gracious action that he forgives each and every one of us. And actually, it, it's not just a remembrance, it's a celebration, it's a receiving of that very same grace and mercy. So we can give thanks for that, that God not only has forgiven us, uh, not only has he given his son Jesus to die for us, but he continues to forgive us and he continues uh, to feed us each and every time we, we gather for the sacrament. So uh, we'll give thanks for that today 
And uh, I really do hope everyone has a wonderful day. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that you have forgotten our sins. You have forgotten all of those things that we do which are against your word. Instead, you remember your faithful promise to us that our sins are forgiven on account of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for each and every one of us. We give thanks that you give us the gift of his body and blood, the sacrament, that we may remember his gracious action and, and receive your mercy and forgiveness. Send us your Holy Spirit, Lord, and be with all at this time, especially those who cannot receive his body and blood. Send them your spirit to encourage them in their faith until they can return uh, to your table and receive your precious gifts. All of this we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Have a great day.